Hi, I'm Cheddar Man. Let me tell you my story. Links and notes are attached so others can trace the information herein provided. My YDNA haplogroup is I2L38. The I2A2 subclade is still existent in males of the modern British Isles and across other parts of Europe. My maternal haplogroup is U5B1. The model of Cheddar Man was made by Kenneth and Kenneth Reconstructions who specialize in paleontological reconstructions. My skin pigmentation and eye color comes from DNA markers I was found to carry. I'm a hunter-gatherer from Mesolithic era Britain. My remains were discovered in 1903 at Goff's Cave in Cheddar Gorge, Somerset, England. The following extracts are from the Natural History Museum, in an article written by Kerry Lotsoff, and we now read. The biggest surprise, perhaps, is that some of the earliest modern human inhabitants of Britain may not have looked the way you might expect. Cheddar man has the genetic markers of skin pigmentation usually associated with sub-Saharan Africa. This discovery is consistent with a number of other Mesolithic human remains discovered throughout Europe. European hunter-gatherers had dark skin and most of us had pale-colored eyes, either blue or green, and dark brown hair. It seems that pale eyes entered Europe long before pale skin or blonde hair, which didn't come along until after the arrival of farming. I was a fully modern human with dark skin and blue eyes. I was about 5 foot 5 inches tall and died in my 20s. Like all humans across Europe at the time, I was lactose intolerant and was unable to digest milk as an adult. At the time I was alive, Britain was attached to continental Europe, today commonly referred to as Doggerland, and the landscape was becoming densely forested. Modern-day British people share approximately 10% of their genetic ancestry with the European population to which Cheddar Man belonged, but they aren't direct descendants. Current thinking is that the Mesolithic population that Cheddar Man belonged to was mostly replaced by the farmers that migrated into Britain later. From Wikipedia we now read. Early European farmers were a group of the Anatolian Neolithic farmers who brought agriculture to Europe and northwest Africa. They absorbed and replaced us hunter-gatherers. The early European farmers moved into Europe from Anatolia through southeast Europe from around 7000 BC, gradually spread north and westwards, and reached northwest Africa via the Iberian Peninsula. Genetic studies have confirmed that the later farmers of Europe generally have also a minor contribution from us Western hunter-gatherers, with significant regional variation. European farmer and hunter-gatherer populations coexisted and traded in some locales, although evidence suggests that the relationship was not always peaceful. The early European farmers are believed to have been mostly dark-haired and dark-eyed, and light-skinned, although darker than most modern Europeans. A study on different early European farmers' remains throughout Europe concluded that they had intermediate to light skin complexion. Later another migration took place after the European farmers. From Family Tree DNA we read. The third major wave of migration into the European continent is comprised of peoples from this Bronze Age, specifically, nomadic herding cultures from the Eurasian steppes found north of the Black Sea. These migrants were closely related to the people of the Black Sea region known as the Yamnaya. These new cultures formed through admixture between the local European farming cultures and the newly arrived Yamnaya peoples. Research into the influence the Yamnaya culture had on the European continent has also challenged previously held linguistic theories of the origins of Indo-European language. Previous paradigms argued that the Indo-European languages originated from populations from Anatolia, however, present research into the Yamnaya cultures has caused a paradigm shift and linguists now claim the Indo-European languages are rooted with the Yamnaya peoples. By the Bronze Age, the Y-chromosome haplogroup R1b was quickly gaining dominance in Western Europe, as we see today, with high frequencies of individuals belonging to the M269 subclade. 
Ancient DNA evidence supports the hypothesis that the R1B was introduced into mainland Europe by the Bronze Age invaders coming from the Black Sea region. Further DNA evidence suggests that a lactose tolerance originated from the Yamnaya or another closely tied step group. Current day populations in Northern Europe typically show a higher frequency of relatedness to Yamnaya populations, as well as earlier populations of Western European hunter gatherer societies. All Europeans today, in different proportions, are an ancestral mix of hunter-gatherers, farmers, and Yamnaya. Thank you for coming along on this journey, goodbye.